guns, guns, guns. And I got them shipped to me in the mail. America. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. On the move. On the move. In the group. In the group. In the group. In the group. Here we go. Here we go. All the way. All the way. Every day. Every day. Hey, what's going on, guys? Patriot Prime here. Now, first off, I want to apologize. I didn't get my Veterans Day special completed like I wanted. So, uh, I work elections, and needless to say, the month of November has been pretty busy for me. Fortunately, I don't live in Florida, so my state wasn't one of those ones with the multiple, multiple, multiple recounts. West Virginia here, baby. We rocked. So anyway, with today's review, I ordered some of the non-F guns weapon sets for Punch, Counter Punch, and some Legends class figures to get those all armed up. I also just got this. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked about this. Now a lot of you have also asked me to review this guy, but I'm going to have to wait because Toy Hacks has a really big sale going on right now, 50% off of all of their sticker sets. So I ordered the Predaking set for him, and I'll do a review of this figure after I get the repro labels for it. So without further ado, let's take a look at the non-F weapon set that I just got in the mail today. When your non-F package arrives, it will be in a bubble mailer. This is the fifth order I've placed with them. I've ordered the Insecticon set, the Broadside set, the Battle Trap set, and the Perceptor set. And they all come just like this. So let's go ahead and crack these things open. Let's make sure where they are. I don't want to go cutting my weapons in half. And we will open these together. So there is the Legends weapons pack. That is eight little guns for the Legend class figures. And the Punch Counter Punch weapons. So let's go ahead and take a look at these first because I know these are the reason you clicked on my video. Now, getting these out of the package, they are very nice. These are molded plastic weapons. They do not feel like the 3D printed stuff that you get from, say, Shapeways. Now, I do see a little bit of flashing up here at the top of the black rifle. Orange gun, the same. Nice and smooth plastic. Oh, there's a little flashing issue there as well. But you can take care of that with an X-Acto knife. Get this back in focus. But I really like them. They look really good. Let's see how they compare to the Generation 1 Originals. So here we have non-F Productions gun, and here we have the original G1. Pretty much dead on. So I do like their attention to detail. Now we'll take a look at the black weapons. Once again, this is non-F. This is G1. It's got the little scope on top and the clip on the bottom. I like that. That is cool. Good job, guys. Now, let's see how he's going to look on the vehicle mode. Now, of course, these big guns aren't going to fit underneath the car mode like his original gun here. There's just really nowhere to put them. But the double barrel cannon does have a hole on top where you can combine the two and then place it in the top of the vehicle like so. So now you have an armored attack spy. So that looks pretty cool, just like a James Bond vehicle. So I dig that. So now let's get him transformed into punch mode and see how the weapons look with him in bot mode. Now that we have him in punches robot mode, let's go ahead and see how the weapon fits. That slots in his hand perfectly. I didn't have to shave it down. As you saw, that was right out of the package. So it looks really good. It's a lot better than his little dinky gun he originally came with. So yeah, I, I like that. He looks very much like his 
G1 namesake now. So now let's check him out in counterpunch mode and counterpunch his new weapon. Okay, I now have him in counterpunch mode, so let's see how his new weapon fits this time. And that's a little snug this time, so that might need a little trim. As you can see, it I can't get it to go all the way down, so I'm going to have to shave that just a little bit. But it still looks very good and looks just like his G1 namesake. Now, what's also cool is you can store the extra weapon on the back of the figure. So say he's in counterpunch mode, flip this down. You can plug the extra weapon in the back for storage. And of course, if you're using counterpunch, or excuse me, punch, flip this section down and you can store the, uh, that is that is very tight. That, that needs trimmed. I can't even get it in that, that hole right there, so. That's, that's one bad thing. You're going to have to trim the handle on the black gun down a little bit. But you get the idea. It'll store right there in punch mode for counter punch. But since my Autobots heavily outnumber my Decepticons in my display, I display them as counter punch, so that'll work for me. So there you go. I like the guns, other than the one small flaw of having to trim the handle down. This is not a bad set. It's only $5.99 on non-F productions, and you get them really quick. I ordered them on Monday, and I got them Wednesday, so two days shipping. Now, this set may not be for everybody. This is more for the G1 purist, new guys who aren't familiar with the G1. I'm sure the little orange gun he came with will be just fine for you. So that's it. I highly recommend this set. So now let's move on to the Legends pack. Okay, here's the Legends weapons set. Let's go ahead and get these guys out. Well, as soon as I open this set up, I noticed I have a problem. You get eight guns, doubles of these six here at the bottom, but up here at the top, I'm only supposed to get one of these, and the other gun is supposed to resemble the Generation 1 Outback cannon to fit on the Power of the Primes Outback figure. That was the main draw of this set. That's the gun I wanted the most, and it's nowhere to be found in this set. They sent me two of those instead. So I'm going to contact them, and hopefully their customer service is really good, and I'll get a replacement gun back. But looking at these weapons anyway, they are the same nice quality that the punch counterpunch gun had. Nice solid plastic. You got a couple weapons with some flashing that needs trimmed down, but that's an easy fix. So let's go ahead and get these weapons loaded up into the hands of some legend class figures. Okay, this set is awesome. It definitely gives some much needed firepower to these legend class figures and all the weapons fit in all the characters' hands perfectly. Nothing was too tight, nothing's too loose, a perfect fit. So I couldn't be happier with this set, aside from the fact that poor Outback doesn't have his proper weapon because I was looking forward to seeing how that would look in his vehicle mode. But this is not a bad set at all for the price of $9.99. And there you have it, guys, my take on the non-F Productions Punch Counterpunch Weapons Set and the Legends Weapons Pack. I think they're great guns. They're made very, very well. couple minor issues that an, that an X-Acto knife can fix and my one slight problem with getting two of the same guns missing another. But we'll give them a call and see if they can fix that problem. Otherwise, I'm still happy with it. Guys, I appreciate you watching. This is Patriot Prime, signing out. hoo Hey, I really appreciate you guys stopping by my channel. Don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. Also, check out some of my other videos that I've done on Generation 1 Transformers, Modern Era Transformers, and Toy Hacks Repro Label sets. Once again, this is Patriot Prime. hoo -wah!